And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thanks for joining me today for a quick chat and, of course, our morning cup of coffee. And you can see I've got the I Heart Virginia mug going for today. And uh, that was sent to me by some former parishioners at Holy Apostles Church in Dulles, Virginia. So a shout out to the Spiros family for sending me that. And of course, uh, saying hi to all of the wonderful families at Holy Apostles in Dulles, Virginia. For today, I just wanted to comment briefly on something that has happened. Of course, in international news, big story, the passing of Queen Elizabeth. And um, of course, the ascension of the throne of King Charles uh, III now. And so, um, you know, a lot of people are have their own take on on the uh, reign of Queen Elizabeth II and what it represents. And um, I just wanted to reflect on it a little bit and see what we can think about or learn um, from an Orthodox Christian perspective. And so I think it's interesting that people are using um, her passing as a platform to sort of talk about their own perception uh, of colonialism, imperialism, persecution, all sorts of different things. Um, but really what I think is so interesting, no matter what your political affiliation is, and as you know, I stay out of politics as much as I possibly can, um, it's interesting to sort of think about and reflect on the role that Queen Elizabeth had during her 70 year reign uh, and how it fits into uh, the political system in Great Britain. Just the idea that she's a symbolic head of state that is seen as being anointed by God and sort of has to remain above political ideologies. She had, you know, so many, what, 14 prime ministers in her reign. And she did a good job, I think, of not, you know, being affiliated with one political side or the other. And that's something for us, I think, to start thinking about now. It's mid-September or getting there. And before you know it, we're going to have the midterm elections rolling around in November. And we're going to start being inundated uh, with politics, as if it ever stopped in the news, right? It seems to just be going from every four years to every two years, and, and now the sort of uh, the, the political platform, and, and it's just never ending um, in the political machine that we live in, and it's so divisive, and it's so divided between sort of the red camp and the blue camp, uh, that I wonder if we can try to, as Orthodox Christians, rise above some of the politics uh, as best as we can. And I think that, you know, we can look to Queen Elizabeth as an example of that. Here is someone who is the head of state symbolically, but she's sort of supposed to be above petty politics. And she's supposed to see herself as having a role that is ordained by God, right? She's, the coronation happens with an anointing um, from the archbishop. The archbishop is the one that places the crown. So it's it's really sort of an interesting system, very far removed from what we experience here in America. And, uh, but I think we can think about that. Um, you know, can we, in our own spiritual life, in our personal life, try to rise above, uh, try to not identify ourselves in one camp and see others as being rivals in another camp, when in reality, we're all supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ. We're all supposed to be one in Christ. And our most important affiliation is not our political one. Um, it's our spiritual one. It's that we're trying to be good Christians and that we're trying to see everyone as our brothers and sisters in Christ. And that's something hopefully moving forward that we can think about uh, as the barrage of commercials uh, and the signs everywhere start and we become once again entrenched for the next few months in our political system. So let's see if we can rise above it. And let's see if we can be good Christians and try to treat everyone with love and respect and uh, hope that that can come back to us and that we will be treated with love and respect and that the Lord will continue to bless us each and every day. Amen.